Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. We're going to take a look at how to pair a Bluetooth wireless keyboard with the Note 2 smartphone itself. So what we're going to do, just pop it on its stand here for the time being. Just turn on Bluetooth from the notifications area and it'll start searching away. Just to bring in the wireless Bluetooth keyboard, and I got this from Amazon, I think it was a while back for about £15 here in the UK reason why I went for it was because it's relatively small for what it is it's got a full QWERTY keyboard and it's got a joystick for the mouse and the mouse buttons itself as well so what we're going to do is as that's searching away I'm just going to press the ID button in the back of this device itself uh, just with a pin so that it's uh, transmitting itself or making itself available there you go it says pairing there and available devices showing as being Bluetooth keypad or keyboard there. So I should select it. It says to pair with Bluetooth keyboard type and then it gives me the number. So we got 4777 and then press enter. And then that pairing light disappears and then menu disappears from on the screen there as well. Once paired, the keyboard works the same. You can navigate throughout the home screens by using the left and right keyboard buttons they're a little bit swapped around on this where the right ones on the left side and the left ones on the right side but you've got the little diagrams either side of them just to tell you which one to which moving the joystick from left to right on the screen also brings up the the cursor on the screen hopefully you can see that on the the Android smartphone itself on the Galaxy Note 2 now you can as I say go from screen to screen using the joystick as you can see there and to click on stuff you can navigate through with the joystick to for example there's the the memo app to click on it I just press the left mouse button which will be this one here and it will launch into the application itself again to click OK left mouse button and then if I want to load up a, an application here's a note one say that one left mouse button allows you to go straight in and if I want to edit it, again, just press the edit button. The controls come up and I can use the typing tool from there. And the cursor then becomes available. And then if I type in anything that I want from there, as you can see, it gets displayed on the screen. Fine. Similarly, the mouse buttons can be used to come out of applications. So the right button to close out of things. So as you can see there, it's closing out an application again to go back to the home screen now the keyboard will work with any application that is on the smartphone itself as long as the smartphone can communicate with the bluetooth device then it will recognize it and you can create emails and text messages and all the rest of it so if i go to say text messages from there if i just click on a text message and it's already flashing up where it says enter message so if i just type in anything that i want from there as it is, it appears. This especially works brilliantly when you've got your device hooked up to a TV via an MHL adapter. Here we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 connected up to my monitor slash TV with a MHL cable with a HDMI lead going to the back of the TV. There will be a link in the description of another MHL video I've got for the Galaxy Note 2. So here we have the keyboard still hooked up to the Galaxy Note 2. You've got these little scroll bars here that you can use to scroll through the screens on the Galaxy Note 2 as you can see there and you can see the cursor still in the middle of the screen so what we'll do is we'll navigate into the app section here use the keyboard clicker or the mouse clicker button here to navigate into that and then what we'll do is go into an application again click through to that I'm going to go into color note here we have it just so we can see how good the uh, typefaces look so there's nothing there already so we'll do new and we'll do a text see if it does it from that I've selected it awesome so click inside of the box along the top just to give it a title so I'm going to type in there just demo so you can see the D's already in there demo okay scroll down using the, the joystick here to the bottom section using the joystick navigate with the cursor down to the bottom section click inside of it and just type whatever you want Oops. 
world is ending. Here we go, via the keypad. And you can navigate using the arrow keys as well. So if I want to come out of it, just press the back button on the, the keyboard clicker here. And then it automatically saves it, as you can see there. Again, back again. It just takes you back. It's the equivalent of pressing the back button on the Note 2 itself. So press that there. And as I said previously, you can use the slider along the top right of the keypad to navigate throughout the various home screens fairly quickly as you can see there. Now while we're here, use the arrow buttons, you'll notice a yellow line or a yellow cube around the icons. You can navigate via the cursor as well. So once you're over the apps icon or any icon that you want to go into, you press the enter key and it just goes in as you would normally expect and use the arrow keys to navigate as well. I'm just going to quickly load up YouTube, see how good that looks via the MHL link and just using the, the keyboard as a browser as you can see there. Again, because this is there's a fair few videos on there, you can scroll via the cursor as you can see here or use the button, I'll say the button, the slider along the top right as you can see there. Now if I scroll down, we'll go to whatever this one is, something to do with yoga. You'll notice there's no sound coming through, but if we press function on the keypad and volume, it should increase the volume on the phone, as you can see there. And then the phone starts playing the audio through the TV itself. How awesome is that? That's how easily you can pair a Bluetooth wireless keyboard with your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. No routing, nothing special required, and you can use it while still hooked up to a HD TV via a MHL link cable as well. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.